Okay, and there it is, shiny mudkip. Hey guys, how's it going? Lazy Hunter here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get a 100% guaranteed, legit shiny starter in Pokemon Emerald uh, using RNG manipulation. If you guys don't know what RNG manipulation is, don't worry about that. I'm gonna go through like the basics in this video and how you can actually perform it like step by step. So stay tuned and follow along with uh, my explanation. The first thing you're going to need is actually uh, download a few tools. First off, you're going to need this guy right here. So this is the on timer. Uh, this will actually allow us to like get a timer where we can enter the game and like press start or press A at the same time as the timer goes off or ends. And you can actually like hit a specific frame and that frame will actually be our shiny starter, okay? I know this is a little bit confusing, but you'll understand exactly what I mean in a few minutes, okay? So first thing you're gonna need, it's Eon Timer. All of these uh, tools will be in the description down below, okay? So just download them uh, beforehand so you guys can follow along uh, with everything I'm doing here, okay? So this is gonna be the first one right here, Eon Timer. Second one is Pokefinder, okay? My version is 4.1.2. You should have a later version probably, but it doesn't really matter. You should, you should be fine. Um, you also need the calculator, okay? Um, you just kind of have to like change from decimal to hexadecimal. So you don't actually need a calculator. You can use like Google for this, but um, calculated in programmer mode just works. The one from Windows, okay? Um, you're going to need Gen 3 Seed Assistant, okay? Which is like uh, an add-on for the Spoke Finder, uh, which is this one right here. Okay, this is going to be very handy okay because this is like a new tool and it's an extra from this tool and it will actually save us a lot of time like finding our shiny starter so we have pokefinder gen 3 seed assistant uh we have um eon timer right here um and you can also download flow timer okay flow timer is actually optional uh, i like using flow timer because it's easier for me um to set up a global key on my keyboard and actually start the game or press A at the same time, okay? Uh, Eon Timer doesn't actually allow you allow you to have a global key, but you can actually just press start, okay? Uh, on Flow Timer, you can set like uh, a key on your keyboard and you can start at the same time as you press the key. It's just the only difference, okay? So what I usually do is I come over here to Eon Timer, I calculate the time and I actually paste this time right here onto Flow Timer and I start the timer. Okay, I know this is a little bit confusing, but you'll understand exactly what I mean in a few minutes. Okay, so just keep that in mind, all right? And this is basically it, okay? So we're gonna need the, these like four to five tools, okay? So that's the setup you have to, to do right now. So in-game, you're actually gonna have to have a save file, okay? So that's what we're, we're gonna do right now. By the way, I'm using emulator for this. I'm using MGBA uh, with a GBA BIOS. Okay, I did this on my Nint uh, on my N Nintendo DS with my GBA cartridge, uh, my real Emerald cartridge. Okay, so this works on every single platform. So don't worry about that. This is gonna work, whatever you're you're playing your game in. I'm not sure if it works on those like mobile emulators, but as long as you have the same ROM, I think it should work. Okay, so just to keep that in mind, I'm gonna be using MGBA for this. Um, my future tutorials on RNG manipulation will actually be. On my real emerald cartridge okay so this is just for the for the shiny starter because i don't want to like reset my my cartridge uh just to get the shiny starter because i already have a very long save file so that's why i'm using gba for this okay okay so all you have to do um first on uh, uh like in game you actually have to have um a save file with text speed test uh, set to fast okay and we're going to set this to fast because uh, as soon as we start the game, we're going to have to enter like the f like a specific dialogue a little bit fast. And that's why we, we have to set the text speed to fast. Okay. And that's all you got to do. And then you can just uh, leave the game. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. So we'll just reset the game. Save, of course. And then what we're going to do is actually start a new save file. Okay. You're going to come over here. Go to new game. You can go through all of this like dialogue and stuff like that until you actually get to the naming screen. Okay. Okay. So now that we're in the naming screen, 
um, you're gonna see that uh, okay blinking right there so you're gonna stop here and you're not gonna do anything uh, before I say so okay so let's just leave the game right there and we're gonna do some separate stuff here on the computer so the first thing you want to do is go to researcher okay and for that we're gonna open pokefinder 4.1.2 or whatever version you're using you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go to researcher right and right here we're gonna do some things okay uh, first thing is actually set these initial advances to 990, okay? And the max advances to like 1015, okay? Um, and then we're gonna set this to 16 bit height. We're gonna divide it by one, which is the same as times by one. But let's use division here because it's the standard, okay? And we're just gonna leave this like this. Okay, next thing we have to do is go uh, here to Yum Timer 3.0. We're going to go to the Gen 3, uh, Gen 3 tab, right? So this is going to be for Gen 4, Gen 5. This one's for Gen 3. You're going to want to go to settings and go to timer here. And you're going to choose your console, okay? In this case, I'm using MGBA with a GBA BIOS. So I'm going to pick GBA here. If you're using uh, NDS for this with a GBA cartridge, you're, you're actually going to select this one right here. Okay? NDS GBA. Do not select NDS because it's, this one is for actual NDS games, okay? And everything else, just leave it as is. So refresh interval, you can leave it at 8. And this, you can just leave it like this, okay? And we're going to set the calibration to 0, pre-timer to 0, uh, and target frame to 950. And the expl explanation for this is um, the trainer ID, when, when you leave this screen right here, so when you press OK, um, it takes about 50 frames to generate uh, the trainer ID, okay? And we're going to be aiming for frame 1000, and that's why... Uh, we pick this uh, target frame. Before we actually uh, get into the RNG manipulation, I'm just going to tell you a little bit how this works, okay, before we dive in into the actual setup here. So, uh, basically, um, Emerald's RNG is it's broken, like compared to other Gen 3 games, such as like Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, whatever. You only start on seed zero, okay, except for this screen right here. So, the trainer ID you're going to generate it's going to be quite literally your seed. And it's not going to be seed zero, it's going to be your trainer ID. Okay? And what we're going to do is, as soon as we leave this screen, your trainer ID will be generated, as well as your as your seed. Okay? Uh, and with that being said, after that, we're going to choose a set of, like, secret IDs. Uh, assuming, like, we hit perfect frame, like, frame 1000, uh, you're going to hit your shiny uh, on the first attempt, okay? But that's probably not gonna happen. So what we have to do is actually retry this a few times, like three, four, five, six times, it doesn't matter. You actually have a 10 window frame for this uh, and attempt to get your shiny frame, okay? I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but um, as we progress into the video and into the RNG manipulation itself, you, you guys will understand what I say by this 10 frame window, okay? So, with that being said, let's get into the RNG manipulation, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up Eon Timer here, and I'm actually gonna take this next stage right here, and I'm actually gonna open my Flow Timer right here. Now, you can actually use Eon Timer, okay, you just gotta press Start right here. Uh, just keep in mind that Start only starts when you release uh, the, the, the mouse, okay, so your finger. And flow timer instantly starts when you press the keyboard, okay? So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to set this to 15906, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, OK at the same time that I start flow timer, okay? So one, two, three, go, right? And you want to go along uh, into the final dialog, which should be this one right here okay and on the last beep you actually want to press a again okay and we just said our trainer id and secret id okay so what you're gonna do now is actually check your trainer id okay so when you come over here and this is our trainer id okay so it's 46636 and what we're going to do with that information is actually go into the calculator, go to the decimal tab right here, and set this to 46636 or whatever uh, trainer ID you got. 
Okay, you're not supposed to get the same trainer ID as I did. Okay, just keep that in mind. It's going to be different for pretty much everyone. Okay, unless we actually hit like like the exact same frame at the same time, which is very unlikely in this naming screen. Okay, so this is our seed. Okay, and this is our hexadecimal seed. And this is what we're going to be using. And we're going to copy over to this seed right here. And we're going to click generate. Okay. With this, we hit a, f we can have like a few uh, secret, ID secret IDs here. I know this is a little bit too much information, but what, what we want right here is if you were like 100% accurate, you would hit this advance right, re right here. So this advance. Okay. So you would be getting this trainer ID. Okay, so 46636. And this one, like the column on custom one, this would be your secret ID. Okay, none of these matters, like none of these values matters, matter. Only this advanced matter matters, and this uh, column cost one, custom one. Okay, these are the only values that matter. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to assume our shiny uh, Pokemon, our shiny starter. Uh, is in this secret ID, okay? So it's 53285, uh, five, okay? Um, and if you don't actually hit uh, your shiny starter that you wanted, you did not hit the correct uh, frame, okay? Or the, cor or the correct secret ID in this case. Uh, so what do you want to do afterwards, uh, and I'm, I'm going to explain you that, um, you, you're going to want to like test all of these values, like 10 frames before and 10, 10 frames after, uh, the secret ID that you were testing. Okay. And this is pretty much how you get the shiny starter. And the good thing is once you actually hit your shiny, you will know exactly what your secret ID was because it's one of these. Okay. So our shiny should be in one of these secret IDs. Okay. Now we're going to have to test it and see which one it is. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay, so in game, you actually want to like go through all of the intro and stuff like that until you get uh, in front of the bag so you guys can select uh, your starter. Okay, and you're going to save in front of the bag, okay, before selecting any Pokemon. And be sure to save before the bag because once you enter the bag, you can actually not go back and save it. So just be careful about that. Okay, guys, so now that we're actually in front of the bag, I'm going to just press start here and just save, okay? Just be sure to save. Do not enter the bag before saving. Otherwise, you're just going to have to restart the whole thing again, okay? So just save right here. And after this, we're going to be setting up the RNG manipulation, okay? And this is going to be standard static RNG manipulation in Pokemon Emerald. Uh, I'll be doing a tutorial specifically on this, but this will actually be a decent guide for you to, to follow along on static Pokemon. So if you want to get like a static Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald, this also works as a tutorial for this, okay? So now we're going to jump into uh, Pokefinder here, okay? And there are actually two ways of doing this. There's the old way and the, there's the new way. Okay, for the target, we're actually going to be using Pokefinder here. Okay, and you're going to want to go to Gen 3 uh, Static. Okay, so Gen 3 Static right here. And what we're going to do is actually get ourselves um, Manager. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to create... Let me just delete this one. You're going to want to create a new profile. Okay, and this profile will actually have your trainer ID and your secret ID. So I'm just going to name it something like, uh, you know, Emerald YouTube, right? Just change your game to Emerald. Our trainer ID is, let me just check that real quick. Uh, I just saved, so it's it's fine. So this is our trainer ID, okay? So it's 46636. And our secret ID is the one that we were aiming for in the custom one tab. So let me just get that real quick. Where is it? Um, here it is. So it's on the researcher uh, tab. Okay. And we're going to be trying this one first. Okay. We're going to be trying 1000 because if we were like 100% accurate, we would have hit this one like straight away. So that's what I'm going to be aiming for right here. So 53285. Okay. I'm looking at this column right here. So custom one. And this is your first profile. Okay, just press OK. And we're going to select, let me go back to 
um, the tab where I was here. Okay, we're gonna select this uh, profile right here. You guys can make sure that your trainer is the one you typed and secret ID is also the same one that you chose, okay? So as you can see, 53285, so everything's set. Um, right here, you're gonna select method one, okay? Seed is gonna be seed zero. And I'm actually gonna change this to like zero and max advances doesn't really matter. I'm just go for like 10,000. Uh, starters, uh, you guys can choose uh, starters. I wanna go for mudkeep here, but this doesn't really matter, okay? Because since it's a static method, uh, all of these static Pokemons will be at the same exact frame, okay? You guys, you, you guys will know exactly what I mean by that uh, the more you do RNG manipulation, okay? So also you, you, you're you gonna wanna sh uh, select shiny here, okay? So starting square is just the, the form of the shiny uh, on gen eight. So if you guys want a start or a square, you can select that as well. And after that, just you can just click generate here. Okay, let me just check something here. Okay, I probably don't have any any close by. Yeah, that was the problem here. So what does this mean is I actually had to raise this a little bit so Mike's advances. So what does this mean is my closest frame is on 19,544. And what this means exactly, so this is my closest shiny, okay? So if I were to RNG manipulate, this would be my closest shiny. And that translates into, let me just copy this real quick, and I copy this here. That's actually 327 seconds, which is a few minutes, actually. And I don't want to wait that long, okay? Uh, I may have to wait, but what we're going to do, if it takes this long, you can actually check, like... Um, you can actually check the secret IDs that were next to the frame 1000 that we were aiming for. Okay, and this is going to happen to like almost all of you. Okay, so this just means that this secret ID here has a very uh, long frame for the first Chinese starter. Okay, and you guys can also confirm that by coming into the Gen 3 Seed Assistant right here. Okay, we're going to enter Seed 0 because it's always Seed 0. Okay, so next I'm just going to do this right here so i'm just gonna set this to like ten thousand, and i'm gonna set this to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. uh our train id is 46636 uh, and our secret id uh let me get that real quick and our secret id is this one right here and we're gonna aim for a shiny and as you can see, we got the exact same frame, okay? 19k, okay? And when you compare to um, to Gen 3's static here, you can see that it's exactly the same, okay? Um, so this is actually the same shiny Pokemon, okay? 19,544. So... Because of this, we're actually going to be trying to go for another secret ID and leave this for last. If you get a lot of secret IDs uh, with a very late um, entry time for the shiny starter, you can actually reset and get a new Turner ID, okay? That's usually what people do if they don't want to wait that long. But let's see if we're lucky enough so we can find another secret ID with less uh, waiting time, uh, less waiting entry time, okay? So what we're going to do is actually go back here to the uh, researcher, okay? And we're gonna try to go for this uh, on 999, okay? So frame 999. And let's copy this secret ID right here, and I'm actually gonna paste it uh, right here on secret ID. You can use Gen 3 Seed Assistant for this, and you can also use the, the researcher, okay? Uh, I mean, not the, the researcher, the Gen 3 static, okay? They... Uh, like both of them have the same data okay so it's just a matter of uh, preference to be honest uh, but the gen 3 seed assistant is going to be more handy when you actually have to calibrate your timer okay so i'll just use gen 3 seed assistant for this okay with that being said we just changed our secret id so let's search for a better one okay so this one actually has a shiny on advanced 3100 and this one's definitely better okay i'm actually going to check for a few more so we can try to hit 
one that it's like, I don't know, like 15k or something, that would be perfect. Uh, not 15k, 1500. 1500 would actually be perfect, but 3000 is not too bad, okay? Just keep that in mind. Um, and if you guys are wondering, there's nothing you can do about this, okay? Uh, if you were late into the game, you could actually advance uh, your frames, okay? There, there's actually a way to do that with a painting. But in this way, uh, like this way, this early in the game, you can actually do that. So you actually have to go through all of this stuff. Uh, but once you actually hit your secret ID, it's fine because you'll have your, your life a lot easier throughout your save file, okay? But uh, this early in the game, like finding your shiny starter, you actually have to do this. Let me just check if there's a better secret ID here so we don't have to wait that long. This one is 9,000, so that's actually quite a bit. Um, let me check for another one here. So let's check this one. Actually, I didn't even know if it copied. Yeah, it didn't copy. Okay, we actually have one very decent right here. Um, so, that's actually very interesting. We can actually aim for this one. So, 1500 is not too bad. So, let's try Let's try going for this one. Uh, so, you guys can know and you guys can see how exactly this RNG manipulation works and what happens if you don't actually hit your shiny frame. Okay? So, we're going to be aiming for this one right here. So, 1500. And I'm actually going to print screen this so we know what target we should be aiming for right here. So I'm just going to copy this. And let me just open paint. And I'm actually going to paste this. And I'm going to save this uh, screenshot so we can know uh, which shiny frame or a shiny Pokemon we're aiming for. So this is the shiny Pokemon we're aiming for. Uh, it's going to be on advanced 1500. It's going to have the seed, zero, of course. It's going to have the Lex Nature, okay? And if we hit a Lex Nature Pokemon on this advance, it means that we did not hit our secret ID, okay? That we wanted, or in this case, the frame that we wanted. And we actually have to try with another secret ID until we find the shiny starter. Okay, so with that being said, let's just start the RNG manipulation itself. And this is the one we're aiming for. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to take this 1571 uh, go over to Eon timer this is going to be our target frame right here and this is our um, entry timer okay so 26 seconds so what I'm gonna do is come over here go for 26 303 and now what I'm gonna do is actually reset the game at the same time that I start the timer okay and when the timer goes off you want to be in the selection um, tab where you actually select the starter that you want, okay? So let me just do a quick attempt here so you guys can know for sure what I'm doing. So one, two, three, bam. Okay. So the timer just started and I soft reset the game at the same time. And now you want to come here as quick as possible if your timer allows you to do that, okay? And you're going to wait on this screen right here and as, as soon as the, as, as the timer goes off, uh, you want to press yes, okay? So let's go. Okay. So this is going to be our first attempt here. And you're not supposed to get shiny right away. Okay. If you if you did get your shiny started right away, you got to be one of the most lucky persons ever. <laughs> okay. So now you want to fight this guy. Okay. Zigzagoon. And you want to go to the lab and actually check your mudkip so we can do some calibration. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Now that we've talked with uh, with Professor right here, you want to check your Pokemon, you want to check your Mudkip, and what we're going to do now is actually calibrate this thing, okay? It says Bold Nature, um, and we were actually aiming for a Lex Nature, okay? So that means that we did not hit uh, the advance that we wanted, okay? So how do you actually do the calibration? Uh, you want to come over here to Gen 3 Seed Assistant, okay? You're going to want to change this to any. You want to leave this trainer idea to create the alone, okay? And you want to change this to the frames that you want to hit. So 1571, okay? And let's go for around like 100 frames. Um, so this basically means that um, I want to go for every frame uh, like above and under 100 frames for the target frame that I want to hit. So this will show me basically every result above and under 100 frames, okay? I would have to be like very like uh, off target for this. Uh, I believe I was accurate enough to, to go for like 
10 frames higher or 10 frames lower. Okay, but this is just for uh, safety purposes, I guess you could say. So right here, I'm going to select Mudkip, all right? Uh, nature, it's actually bold. Okay, so we're going to select bold. So where is bold? If you press like B, it will actually go automatically to the one that you wanted. And on these stats right here, the first stat is going to be your level. Okay, so it's always a level five. Shady starter or starter in this case. Uh, this one's the HP, so 20, then 10, then 11, then 10, then 10, then 9. Okay, so you go like this. So it's 20 HP, 10 attack, 11 defense, uh, 10 attack speed, um, 10 uh, actually sp special attack, 10 special defense, and 9 speed. Okay, and once you do that, just calculate IV ranges, and this will fill automatically for you. Okay. And after that, you want to select search. Okay. And we actually got a result and it was actually not that far off from the target. So I hit uh, frame 1575. Okay. And I was aiming for 1571. So what this means is that we actually have to calibrate here uh, so we can hit our target frame. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is actually go on to Eon Timer and you want to select this frame hit and paste the actual target um actually the actual frame that you hit okay and just click update and this little next stage will update for you so what i'm gonna do now is come over here to flow timer uh and go for like uh 26 to 36 and just go again basically uh so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into my game soft reset and start the timer at the same time so one two three bam all right Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we did not hit the shiny, okay? Uh, we may have hit our target frame, uh, and if we did hit our target frame, uh, it means that this is not the frame I was aiming for, and hence this is not the secret ID that has the shiny starter. So I would just have to um, pick a new secret ID. So I'm going to go through all this stuff again and check our mudkip. Okay, let's check our mudkip here. And let's see what we got. So we actually got a timid one. So it's not the one we were aiming for. I was aiming for a lax one. So a lax nature, okay? So this means that we did not hit our target frame. Let's see exactly what frame we hit. So let me just, just change this to timid. Uh, let's check the stats here. So it's 5, 20. Uh, this one's 10, 10. It's actually 10 on all of them except for last one. Let's recalculate this thing and recalculate this. Okay, so I actually hit 1574. So I was a bit off. So by, by three frames, which is not too bad. So we're just gonna have to recalibrate this thing again. And I'm gonna go for this frame hit right here and click update. All right. And okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually get our flow timer here. Let's just get flow timer. And we're just going to input the new time here. So 26, 186. And we just got to go again until we finally hit our target frame. So I think we actually hit the correct uh, frame right now. We actually hit the Lex one. So let's just make sure this is the one I was aiming for. So remember, I was aiming for this one. So Lex Nature uh, in 1571, yada, yada. So let's just make sure we hit that one. So let's go for Lex here. And it's not shiny, okay? Uh, and this means that if we actually hit this one, this is not our secret ID and we actually have to go again and try to hit a different secret ID from that list. Okay, so let's go for 5, 20, 12, 11, 10, 9 and 9. Calculate IV ranges, search and there we go. So the one we have right here, it's actually the target frame that, that we want. Okay, so it's actually it's literally the same one. Okay, so 1571. Uh, Lex Nature, uh, Shiny Star right there, Hidden uh, Dragon. And what what this means, uh, you guys may be wondering, why didn't you get the Shiny if you got the exact target frame that you wanted? And the reason for that is that we did not hit the secret ID that we wanted. Okay, I'm going to show you guys Researcher. Um, so what happened is I actually went uh, for this secret ID, so 51060. Right? So I tried to go for this one, this secret ID. And it did not work. So what you want to do is actually retry 
with one of these values, okay, right here, one of these secret IDs around your target one, which was 1000, and you should hit eventually your shiny target frame in one of these um, secret IDs, okay? So what I'm going to do now, and I'll see you guys in a bit, is actually just try a bunch of these secret IDs, okay? I, I didn't actually try 1000 because the entry target was actually a very long timer. It was like a three minute timer. Uh, and you, you kind of just want to hope you, you do not uh, like hit these seeds that have like very long um, uh, like target frames uh, for the initial frames for the shiny star. You just want to hope you, you don't hit those. Um, but if you hit those, you kind of just have to like wait two or three minutes, but it's no big deal for a shiny starter uh, and knowing your secret ID because this will actually allow you to just catch multiple shinies and even like perfect IV Pokemon in the future in the save file. So what I'm going to do now is actually tr just try a bunch of these. I'm going to apply exactly the same method uh, as you guys saw before. So all the RNG manipulation, calibration, stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in a bit with the target frame and I'll show you guys what my secret ID is. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, and there it is, shiny Mudkip, finally. Okay, guys, so, basically, um, I'll show you guys something, okay? Uh, so, I, I did this little notepad, okay? I, I advise you guys to do exactly the same, which is to type in every single frame, okay? Around that frame 1000 that we talked about. So, this was the target frame, right? But you may be a little bit off, okay? Like I was. I actually hit this frame, so 1003. And this was the secret ID, um, actually this was not the secret ID, this was um, the target frame I was aiming for, okay, so I was aiming for 4391, okay, I was doing some calibration stuff like that, and we finally hit the 4391, and this basically means that we hit this relaxed mudkip, okay, and if we look at, um, if we look at uh, researcher here, you guys can see that I hit this advance right here, so 1003, and this now, it's my secret ID, okay, 61424. And I can know for sure that this is my secret ID because we just hit the shiny, okay, I'll, I'll confirm you guys exactly that information. But this just means that we know our trainer ID and secret ID uh, for the whole save file. So now this means that not only I have a shiny starter, but also I can now RNG manipulate pretty much any wild or a static Pokemon uh, throughout my save file, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through all of this intro until we get to the lab, so I can show you guys uh, that this was the shiny Mudkip that I was aiming for. Okay guys, so now that I'm in the lab, uh, let's check this Mudkip right here. And as you can see, shiny Mudkip level 5 relaxed, which is exactly the one I was aiming for. Um, I'll show you guys exactly that. So I was, I was aiming for this relaxed one, and I can confirm you that by going into, uh, let's go for uh, Gen 3 Static here. And I'm going to change my profile here now that I know my secret ID. Okay, so let me just change this one right here, the one we, we created before. Uh, let me just get the researcher so I can get my secret ID. So it's actually 61424. All right, got it. Press OK here. Uh, let's go back to Gen 3 Static here. Uh, let me select it. Okay, it's selected. So, now I'm going to select Seed Zero here. Let's go for Starters. We're going to go for Mudkip. And I'm going to go for Shiny, Star, and Square here. And I'll hit Generate. And this basically means that we hit this one right here. 4391, as you can see. As you can see right there. It's the 4391 that, that was aiming for. It's a relaxed one. Um, with these particular stats, okay, it's also a male, uh, it says right here, and we just hit our shiny starter, okay, we hit our shiny starter, we know our trainer and secret ID for the whole save file, which is pretty cool, and this is pretty much how you can RNG manipulate a shiny starter, as well as knowing your trainer and secret ID, okay, I highly advise you guys to, like, get a notepad or something like that, and just type in your, your target advances, and your target uh, Pokemon, shiny Pokemon, so you guys can, you know, just, um, ba basically just discard the ones that you already tried. So, I actually tried one, two, three, four, and five secret IDs, and none of them 
I had the shiny frame, so it was only on my sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five, and this was my sixth one. And if I did not hit this relaxed one on 1003, I'll just have to keep going. Okay, that's basically what it means. And also, if you guys feel like you, you have like very high uh, entry timers, um, I would advise you to just, you know, restart the whole thing, get a new turner ID, check your secret IDs, and check if your entry uh, timers are decent, okay? For example, if I actually hit 1000, like 19k, it's like 3 minutes, okay? I don't want to be waiting 3, three minutes, I'll, I'll probably just, you know, restart the whole thing, get a new turner ID, just... Uh, get the shiny started that way because this is just way too much time for me okay uh these were okay uh i mean for four thousand three hundred it's approximately like one minute one minute and ten seconds so it's not too bad but anything above like 6k is just it starts uh getting way too crazy and it's way too much time for for me to wait so you know it's all about patience uh it's all about patience, so you ha you guys have to be patient, okay? It took me a few hours to get this done, okay? It's going to take you also a few hours to get this done. If you want, you know, just do this another day. Uh, let's say, like, try two, and the next day try another two, if you guys don't have the patience. But it will eventually hit it, okay? And if you don't hit these from these 10 window frames, you gotta go for the ones under and above uh, this uh, 10 frame window, okay? And you'll eventually hit it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, here's the shiny uh, Mudkip, okay? All of my next videos about RNG manipulation will actually be on my real uh, Emerald cartridge, where I already did uh, this RNG manipulation for the shiny starter, so I know my secret ID. But once you know your secret ID, there are infinite possibilities uh, regarding RNG manipulation, okay? This does not work on Ruby and Sapphire. There's actually another method. I'll, I'll have a video on those, uh, but this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer all of you guys' questions. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It's been Lizzie Hunter, and I'm out. Peace.